Okay, so this is a lecture forty-two based on your third unit, and uh, in this lecture we are going to talk about this data types. Okay, so data types are available in this uh, virtual instrumentation. Okay, so we will talk about these one by one. Okay, so let me start with my screen. So, uh, I think you uh, all know about data types, okay? Because we have already used these data types in C language, okay? You all have done this. I think uh, all of you have done this C course or you have read about this C in first semester or second semester. Clear? So, we are going to discuss about these data types one by one, okay? So, uh, uh, let me just. Writing down some important point related to this data type. Okay, so data types. So we basically, what is the data types? Data types are a particular kind of data item. Okay, the whatever you are giving the instruction. Okay, what do you give? Whatever you are giving the instruction, that will be obviously based on zero and one values. But what is your what? whatever you are giving your input to the this particular system okay so what is the type of this input okay suppose if i talk about the this uh, suppose you have a one module that is adc okay so adc we have seen different different type of adc analog to digital converter okay so now the physical quantity is analog form so what is the physical quantity you are giving in this? Okay, whether it is continuous form, so maybe it is possible that is your value is floating or integer value. Okay, whatever. So data type means what is the data you are giving as an input to the system? Okay, so we were talking about this. Okay, so I'm just going to write some important point. A particular, so just note it down particular kind of data okay item is defined by the is defined by the value it can take takes or it can sorry it can take in into the your programming so programming means what uh, for which we are doing the programming or simulating or analyzing our system so ultimately i am talking about the your input okay so programming language used or the operations okay so that can be that can be performed on it okay so the, the this is the your uh, basic type definition okay now if i talk about the types Okay, what are the different types? Okay, so uh, I think all of you have re, uh, uh, have been seen the data types in C. So most of you are the same. That is, if I talk about this first one is the, okay, yes, uh, these are the types. Okay, so first one is your number. Okay, so same, same, whatever you have used in C. Or, or any other language, so the, this concept is the same here. So, if I talk about the number, okay, so this data type contains number that can be either floating or integer. So, it can be, I'm just writing in a directly, okay, uh, floating, oblique, integer. Okay, so data type can be your number, 
or in other words you can say uh, float neck type or integer type data okay now the next one is the boolean so all of you have read about this subject okay right or you have little bit knowledge about this digital digital electronics okay or switching theory okay so in that uh, we have seen this uh, true or false case okay so if i talk about the true or false that is zero or one okay and uh, if i talk about this logical operation okay so you can other words you can write it down okay true false or if i talk about these logical operation that uh, that is and or not okay these are the three then and or uh, nor xor okay so uh, these are different different type of logical operation is available okay so these are the types of our data types are boolean data okay now the third one is the your string okay so all of you have the knowledge about this string also okay so if i talk about this string okay so it can be your alpha numeric value okay so that contains the alphabet or it also contains the maybe alpha numeric so alpha only alphabetical or alpha numerical characteristic so i'm just writing the alpha numeric okay so that is the string type of data data type clear so we have seen this different type of data types now if i talk about this uh, arrangement of data type so i think uh, uh, there are different types your data types you can say that uh, uh, 1d 2d okay uh, array so you can also take this as uh, another data type that is 1d array public 2d array okay so you can take this is also okay so scalar also you can take the data type so these are the different different data types we can talk about this okay now in this uh, virtual instrumentation there is two another type of data type is also available okay and because all, all these things you have been read about it uh, in c or some different subject okay basic subject now these two which are different okay so there is another data type is the waveform okay so the data is given you in the form of the waveform okay so like I, like if i talk about the if you have vibrations okay so if you talk about these vibration or whatever we have seen in the previous uh, lecture that is in the lecture of graphical programming techniques so we have seen this vibrations um, uh, representation okay display mein humne dekha tha so vibration can be in this form okay so i have taken just one example or for your understanding okay so that is your the variation okay so that is the you can say on this is time ke sath variation that is a obviously this is a just nothing else the displacement vibration nothing else the displacement okay so now here if you are giving this as a input so this is the just a waveform okay it is showing the just the, you can take the uh, magnitude of this or a peak value or whatever the value at this level okay so just switch my pen so you can take this value this value this value so it will give you the intensity or what is the magnitude of the your vibrations ki displacement jo maximum kis tak ja raha hai kaise movement ho raha 
so if the displacement is high we can say the vibration is high okay so we can say that clear so this is another data type we use this in this virtual instrumentation lab that is here in the tool of this lab view okay now the another one is that is the sixth one is also okay so that is the error okay so that is also a data type although the whatever the error is coming okay it can be in the form of your integer floating uh, string boolean or uh, not a string that could be or or the uh, values so but it can also a wave form okay so but we consider this as a data type also in the virtual instrumentation because that is the important part of any any system whatever we are going to design okay whatever we are going to design system obviously whatever i'm saying is system here we are using different different kinds of components over there whether it is adc uh, signal conditioning your components your sensors okay so don't be confused ki sir ab yahan pe system pe kyun chale gaye okay system means uh, obviously they are connected with some uh, sensors also sensor or transducers okay so we can say okay so this is just uh, these are the data types available in the case of the virtual instrumentations okay so if the question is uh, someone is asking or uh, maybe in uh, external exam agar aapke paas question exam mein aata hai what are the data types okay so you have to uh, explain these data types okay i just give the short short a uh, uh, small idea about this because you know all of the uh, about this number boolean string okay 1d array 2d array scalar aapne sab padha hua hai okay you didn't read about this waveform although you know about the waveform but how this waveform is we are going to give in this particular tool virtual instrumentation uh, sorry in lab view okay and what is the error signal so error signal can be your Uh, floating numbers okay number it can be your uh, the this, this is a wave form okay so it can be both so error you know what is the desired output and uh, what is the your practical output so the uh, your summation of this uh, sorry uh, subtraction of this uh, practical value minus desired value or desired value minus practical value so mod of this value we will get this error okay and uh, as a design around motive there should be no error okay so whatever you have desired or required practically we should achieve this value okay so this is all about your data types okay